25,000 people live in Strabane. It's at least 130 kilometers from Dundalk as well, by the way, James. I think maybe about <laughs> 90. All the way. But we're here on a Saturday morning, and what people are maybe going to see around in this video is what they're not expecting. Strabane is in the countryside. Yeah. But they may think that a guy who has such a hype around him is coming from a big city. Mm, wow. The humble beginnings of Strabane. Yeah. What's it like being back now when you're at the point that you are now? I fucking love being back. I love being back. It's nothing. I wouldn't. I can't wait to even move back for good sometimes. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's where I came from. This is where. Do you know what I mean? I used to drive out this road every day to go and see my granny and stuff. My granny used to just live over there. And, I just live up the road, do you know what I mean? I just live at the far side of the bypass up there and I just love being back. It's just, do you know what I mean? It's where I come from, it's my people and I feel like, it just, it just feels well, right here. Your people stopped us over there earlier on. You can't walk down Saran <laughs> without people coming up. We're a week away uh, from the fight now. Uh, being back here for the last uh, few days, week or so, have you noticed the increased attention? that when uh, you're just walking down the street in Saran? It never leaves, it never leaves. So it doesn't, the people, when I'm injured and I'm at the bottom, they're still behind me, they're still bringing me up. When I'm at the top, they're still behind me and they're still pushing me on. So it, the support never leaves. So it does not it does get a little bit more, you know what I mean, more hype and stuff when it comes to a fight. But the support never leaves. It's just amazing, do you know what I mean? Even if you just take a, if you're, like, just take a float down the town, do you know what I mean? For, like, and you just see the people, it gives you like so much energy. And I'm like, let's get this done, do you know what I mean? Let's bring bring it on, do you know what I mean? Like get it, get it done for the people. and. Been able now to fight in the world title contender fight, and then to confirmed. Be able to oh, that's confirmed, one hundred percent. Number one contender confirmed. fight next Number week. Number one contender, contender shot next week. Unreal. Do that there, walk in, fight for the world title in Dublin at the end of the year, and then been able to bring, been able. To, it'll be nice to be able to walk around here with the belt. Do you know what I mean? And just bring it back and be like, all right, like do you know what I mean? I've brought, became a world champion and I've you, brought it back to me time. You've set the date for later in the year anyway. Yeah. After the Dublin show, we will come up to Stravan uh, the week afterwards. Yeah. We'll go for a walk. You can have the belt <laughs> with you then. Uh, you mentioned energy. How is it? Your first time down to 135 officially. I know yeah. you've flirted with it in, in the past, but for a 145er who's fought all at 145, the last couple of fights, you looked lighter and skinnier getting yeah. into it. Yeah. And I don't know if that was whether the, like the My Health Matters, all of the training that you've been doing that just turned your body, maybe like you lost a little bit just yeah. from all yeah. the training. Yeah. Is it Working uh, with George Lockhart. So it is, so he's just, any time that I looked a bit bigger, it was kind of extra fat that was unnecessary anyway. So now that I've just stripped my whole body down, it's like I haven't lost any muscle mass. I've done all the tests. Do you know what I mean? My muscle mass has gone up, my yeah. body fat's gone down, so I'm actually not smaller at all. So you feel maybe the same you would I seven feel, days out from making featherweight, even though this time you're making feel better. Really? I feel better, I'm stronger, um, uh, I've lost all the body fat, I've put on muscle, like it's fat that I have done that, do you know what I mean? I've yeah. kept record of it all, I have uh, kept tabs in it all, I'm working with like the best people, do you know what I mean? And Lockhart and Health Matters and stuff, and, cleaning up the body fats and like we're we're making sure that everything's on point that I'm not just getting skinny and losing muscle and losing power and losing strength. Do you feel that help do you feel that helps when you have the data in a training session to know that you no know, you still yeah. have four minutes left at your 100%. output. Hundred percent you're not quitting now you have 100%. to keep going. percent I know I can go three fives at full on pace and not take a step back. Yeah. I know that for a fact because of the record show from my heart rate and stuff. It shows that I can do. Do you know what I mean? It's not just that I think or I think oh, I'm fit and I can push on. I know it's, it's fact of the data to prove it. What, see this area just in particular, you said you drive down the shop. Yeah. How many times were you in the shop as a kid? Every other week, that's where Every you come to get week. petrol. Do you know what For I mean? Uh, that's where you come so to me, that's where you're Let's flash up. forward to a couple of years time and James Gallagher is on the side of a uh, building in Stravan. <laughs> now, not just a uh, do up the community paper, uh, great stuff. One of the biggest energy brands uh, in the monster. world has yeah. you on the site, like promoting them uh, in your hometown, James. So it's what is this? It? It's unbelievable, it's breathtaking. It's, do you know what I mean? It's just where I used to drive out every day to just go and do my granny's house, you know what I mean? My granny just lives up then that road. So she does, and uh, it, it's just amazing to see then you drive by and you just take a little look and realize like, do you know what I mean? This is this is what it is now. Do you know what I mean? This is what I've this is what I've done, this Word. is what I've achieved, this is what and it just makes you makes you a bit humble or something, do you know what I mean? You realize that this is that's all it is. Do you know what I mean? It's just my people get behind me because I've ran with a dream 
and they they've supported it for me. They've got behind me. They've seen what I had, and they've appreciated my drive to become world champion for my hometown. Something that I'm curious about, just in terms of like comparing your mindset, maybe at this stage in your career, to what Connor said before. Go back to this uh, June, July 2014 before the Brandau fight. Connor said the the fan support was amazing, yeah. especially from the younger people. Yeah. But when he's trying to get himself into the mindset of fighting somebody. Do you like seven, five, however many days away, try and distance yourself from those thoughts yeah. to just focus on the contest? 100%, 100%. I'm, uh, There's cars coming, we'll <laughs> stroll back this way. We can, we, can, um, we can go as we're going, but how do you feel that has like, helped you like, shut yourself off maybe for the focus? It doesn't, it makes me more focused to be honest, because I, I realize what I'm, what I'm doing it for. Not only am I doing it for myself, but that's the main priority, getting that win is just for myself. But you see the support and see the joy and the happiness that I can bring the people that are supporting me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That that fills me with pride. I'm, and I'm not here to prove anyone wrong. So I'm not people are going like jump in there and prove us all wrong that you can do that. Nah, no, no chance. I'm not <laughs> proving you wrong. You're already wrong. Commenter on the internet. I'm not yeah, going to fight to prove you wrong or right. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it for me. People, I'm, pure, I'm proving people right. The people that are supporting me, the people that are behind me, going James is going to become world champion. I'm going to bring them along and go, you're fucking right. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm going to be world champion and I'm going to bring them people up with me. Do you know what I mean? And that's what, that's, that's, going, to, that's going to mean a lot for me when I bring... A, There's a beep. <laughs> when, I bring a, when I bring the world title back. So when it comes to something like the 135 division, do you feel that, that you will be that much stronger already because your grappling base is undeniable and it's yeah. what's like stood out in so many of these fights at 145? So surely the thought process of already being such a good grappler at 45, yeah. you'll be stronger at 35. Exactly, there's no one. I'm, I'm one of the strongest grapplers in the 145 division. So I'm, a, I'm probably I'm the strongest grappler in the 145 division. There's no one that can go in and take people down and get on their backs and pass guard and do them transitions the way I can do. Yeah. There's no one that has that control. There's no one that can pin someone down and cut off all their movements in the, in the grappling exchanges the way I can do. And the, now when you go to 135, they are quicker. So they are, but when I know that I'm quicker as well, I'm yeah. lighter, I'm leaner, but not only do I have the speed, I've also still got that strength. It hasn't left, do you know what I mean? And it's a fact because I've got the data to show that it isn't enough to show me power outputs. I've uh, jumped, the, my coaches have like matched them all up, got all the data up, and it's a fact that I'm actually stronger now than I have ever been, do you know what I mean? So it's not, it's not that I'm going to be weaker I'm just faster and stronger it seems like the brand of James Gallagher despite any injury setbacks you may have had yeah. over the year it seems like when you are not active that is actually when you grow the most That's when I grow. because people are like seeing the yeah. old fights and thinking yeah. when is this guy gonna yeah. fight again exactly. so whether it's like transitionary with brands or now signing with something like engage an up-and-coming apparel market like you now must be seeing that transfer as it's going in your career you know like getting bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger yeah it's it's not uh, it is when you I just feel like, I feel like I've never been this good in my life. Like, not, not only like, have I felt no, like I've prepared for my fight and I'm ready to fight. Yeah. Even forget that, like, my skill set has never been as good. So it is, and I took like time out, that year, year or so that I've had, had out. I wasn't just laying, laying around, I wasn't laying around when my knee was fucked up. I was like watching and stuff, I was learning, I was studying. I was trying to, I was building my upper body, I was fucking working on loads of other stuff, I was working on my upper body mobility yeah. and stuff like that. When I got my knee better, then I broke my hand. I was still able to work on my Jiu Jitsu, I was still able to work on my jab, I was able to work on my head movement, I was able to work on my cardio, my flexibility, my kicks, everything. Did that help when you came back to full training because you were able to isolate and improve certain areas yeah. due to injury restrictions that were preventing you maybe from even practicing it in the yeah, gym. Yeah, 100%. You no, know when you come back from injury, you feel like you're back from injury and you're going, oh, I'm going to be a little bit rusty. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And you go in. But you're better. I went in and <laughs> I was better. Yeah. I was a little bit, I wasn't as fit as I was. Do you know what I mean? I, I, got, I got a little tired and stuff. And that's obviously just not the, no, this, I wasn't sparring anymore. I wasn't rolling anymore. I wasn't doing any live kind of training when my knee was sore and stuff. So I wasn't as fit, but my technique had never been better. It had never been better. So it hadn't, I'm a, and now I'm, I'm ready to go. It's been a long year. My mind is just clear. I don't care. It's like nearly I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, 
it's just about me. I'm going in to do what I do, and I don't give a shit about any of the rest of them or whatever they want to do, whatever they want to say. I'm just happy to be yeah, back in to there. Be it's there. just going to be fun for me. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to go in and I'm going to walk out and I'm going to come back. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm back now. You can say what you want. I'm running here. I'm running there. I'm running there. What are you going to say? And I'm back, and now I'm fighting for a world title. I'm like going to beat this fella and win the world title. I'm back now. He's got no, no one has anything to say anymore. We'll finish up on this, I suppose. Well, a, a few quick things. You becoming the Bellator 135 pound champion potentially this year. Do you go back up or do you go down? If you're looking for a second title. No, I'm definitely, definitely it would, not down. 165, yeah, you'd prefer it'll, than 125. It'll, it'll be, it'll be up. So, yeah. well, de- I'll, I'll definitely but that not. must be in your head as well, because as the champion moving up, you yeah. automatically skip a queue in yeah. terms of looking for a big fight. Exactly. There has been rumors and talk between a Bellator versus or a SBG versus Bellator team. team, yeah, versus another team. Yeah, is that well, something it's, that it's, you're interested? in? It's Pitbull's team. Pitbull's actual gym. Team. Team. Okay. Not not against the Pitbull. Yeah. He's a fucking poodle. That's what he is. He's a poodle. Imagine sticking your team out. Oh, no, no. Team versus team. Giving it socks. I want Jews. I want this. You know what I mean? He wants it for his team. He doesn't want it. No, it's him. So he becomes the coaches. Him and his fucking brother. Uh, and they stick come in against John Cameron's fighters. Do you know what I mean? My coach it seemed that fighters. they had initially, like between like Queely and other initially, guys saying, they were looking for it. Initially, yeah. they started, when Cox actually started getting in, they wanted they their wanted team. That. They wanted ah. fucking Hingdo or whatever the fuck you call him. And they fight me and they wanted Brian to fight someone else and they wanted that. And I was like, no, 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 no. You just want to fight the Pitbull brothers versus SBGs. You just fucking step in. Let's go. Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll fight now and then I'll bounce back up and fight him. No problem for the belt. No problem. Let's, let's do it. It's not, it's not like... There's not, You're there's, not afraid, essentially. There's not like a, it's not even a question. Like, step up, let's do it. As soon as I win this belt, I will go straight back up and I'll fight him for that belt yeah. in weeks, no matter weeks. Amazing. So, well, no problem. When it comes to next week, is it still Jimmy? Jimmy still versus Ricky exactly, next Saturday? Yeah, Jimmy yeah, versus Ricky next Saturday. How emphatic is it going to be? Is it, is it a, I don't want to say is it back to our roots, but we did see such a huge improvement in your strike and being able to set up your grappling in yeah. those last two fights. Yeah. Is that now James Gallagher built himself as the name, as you said in an interview with Peter Carroll, MMA Fighting, you've been told you're going to be a world champion since you were 15 years old. You've had that pressure yeah. on your shoulder. Yeah. You've been strangling adults since you were 15 yeah. years old. Yeah. Are we going back to that? Are we, oh, well, we haven't left it, I suppose. We haven't, we haven't left it. It's just got better. You're saying me striking, they set up me takedowns or, or whatever. Now I can strike and knock you out. I can strike and take you down. When I get on top of you, you're fucked. You're not, you're not getting back up, and yeah. that's just the way it is. I, I feel like I've got all the options. Do you know what I mean? And I really do believe that there's no one better than me in the world. And no, one, no one's proved me different. No one's proved me different. I haven't never felt that anyone has ever come close to proving me different. So people can, do you know what I mean? People say, oh, you're, you're just being cocky and you're being this here. No, I be, I'm fighting for a world title soon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm the best in the world. There's no one. That, I'm not, it's not even that I think I'm better. I know there's no one better than me. I know I'm the best 135er in the whole division and 45er. I, I really believe that. And the reason why I believe it is because no one has ever come close to proving me wrong. And until that day comes, then I'll... I'll re- You'll keep believing. Uh, right. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Why, 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 why wouldn't why I? stop? And I'm going to go and get that belt. I'm going to go and like, there's no, no doubt in my mind that I'm going to go and win that belt and there's no one going to stop me. You have some whip. <laughs> this I is Brad, really just right. just uh, just uh, cruising up here. <laughs> the James Gallagher I knew from years ago would have had to get lifts down to an interview <laughs> like bus. this. So we'll finish on this. Um, I believe this interview posted Monday morning. Your fight week has begun. You're heading over to South yeah, Dakota. Yeah. But a few days ago, the biggest fight of the year was announced. McGregor versus Khabib. Yeah. As someone who has been there from the start, from the young age, you've seen this come up. Yeah. You now agree this is the biggest fight that he's ever been a part of, without a shadow of a doubt. The definite well, well, biggest mixed martial arts biggest, fight. Biggest mixed martial arts fight, but 100% not the hardest. No. 100% not the hardest. I think it's an easy fight. It's one of the easiest fights. When you got someone who's got a one-dimensional route, dips in, fires an overhand, tries to grab you like that. Now, once he grabs you like that, it's, it's unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? Take no credit away from that. Yeah. He's the best. He's the best at doing that. But you're just not good. He's, he has to eat a left hand before he gets there. Yeah. He eats five of them. Connor's just going to hit him one and he's going to hit the deck. It's not It's yeah. not a question about it. Do you know what I mean? He's going, to, he's going to get clipped and he's going to hit the floor. Do you think that Connor signing back to the fight 
will reverse any sort of opinion towards him in the country because I had seen a frustration mm. but it was mainly a frustration born out of the fact that we have an amazing athlete that wasn't being put into fight at yeah. the time so yeah. people were kind of like we want to see him fight yeah. and maybe it's a thing that when you take something for granted you don't realize how yeah. much you love it yeah. the man fought four times yeah. in 12 13 14 months 2014 yeah. and now that there's been a gap people are maybe appreciating how good he yeah, actually is exactly it's people sometimes people are being a bit selfish they realize that that's an athlete who is just made history whatever and he's took what over a year out do you know what I mean he's took a year out of his out of his like how long now he's kind of been in the UFC um, 2013 yeah do you know what I mean so since then he's took what like a little a little break and he had a child have a family and had an injury do you know in 2013 what I mean? deal with, you sit back and like just look and be like wow I am the greatest of all time here I've just achieved what no one else has achieved and and there's no one else has ever come close to doing it do you know what I mean so people have to appre people should be appreciating that People should be going, you're right, Connor, do you know what I mean? Go and get your yacht and fucking go to the Bahamas and flake out for a fucking a year, do you know what I mean? Um, uh, people, people, should be, people should be doing that and people are just a little selfish, but now he's back, do you know what I mean? It's a hero of a nation here. Yeah. It's a hero of a nation here. There's no one no, There's no one has done what he's done. There's no one has ever come close to it. And there's no one that has come has done so much for Ireland in such a time that like it's what Ireland needed uh, a hope for a it hope, uh, we, we hope talked it. about that before yeah. like uh, we're a similar age like but like you know I mean? a younger generation yeah. coming through and seeing someone it's, actually break through we weren't I mean? alive for no. Italia 90 we weren't alive when Ireland overachieved exactly. at other areas but now exactly. we are witnessing someone achieving it I in remember, our lifetime I, I bounced from school when I was 15 to go and do jiu and Connor was in the UFC there was no there was no like there was no outlook for me. Yeah. There was no path that I could follow. It was just like a a dream that you would try and figure out. Then all of a sudden you're trying to I'm trying to figure out this and then next minute bang Connor goes. Do you know what I mean? He's he's created the path now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's he's created that path. He's I can see now what how that works. Do you know what I mean? I can see when your contracts are negotiating, sponsors are coming all that behind the scenes stuff. He's experienced all that. Yeah. He's the man who went in first hand, done it with no one else has done it, no help. Just nearly like a trial and error. Yeah. And unfortunately, like or, or fortunately for him, he's very smart and he's very clued in and he's surrounded by good people. And he made a lot of right choices and a lot of right choices that he has now passed on to me. Amazing. Do you know what I mean? A lot of right choices that he has uh, said to me to do. He said, and advised me, don't do that, do this. Do you know what I mean? Because that's where he made the mistake. He went and done something yeah. and that didn't Trial work. Trial and out. error effectively. So now yeah. he's, he's helped me not make them errors. Do you know what I mean? And it's, it's amazing. Do you know what I mean? No, I, had, I had just a dream when I quit school to become like, do you know what I mean? One of the best. She trained jiu -jitsu and I was fighting amateur MMA and I was just hope. That was hope. Hope. I just keep doing this and then I'm going to get signed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just, it was just a hope. There was no like way to do it. There was no nothing. And no, he's he's done it. He found the way. He found the way. He found the way before anyone else. And now he's created it. And like boom, it was a little tight tunnel that you had to slip through. And he has dug it all out. Slightly and wider now. I'd walk say. straight into yeah. it. You know what I mean? And take the hats off to the man. He, he's created a, He's created something for a for a young generation and something that I hope I can pass down to my younger people that are going to come up and when I can go up and break more records. See where, what Connor did achieve that and more. Well, Do you if you don't mind mean? me saying to finish, you may have already done that without you realizing. James Gallagher was the guy from SBG who went into Bellator, and now yeah. Bellator have effectively taken a huge clump of SBG yeah. fighters in terms of developing their European yeah. market and European scene. Yeah. To finish off Dublin later on in the year, yeah. is it going to be SBG from bottom to top on this card? Because I love these events in the three arena. I think that they're amazing. I think it doesn't matter what promotion is there, having eight, nine, whatever many thousand support in Irish yeah. MMA is fantastic. However, it seemed like when they were co-promoting events with Bama in the past, that's when like people weren't, they, like yeah. they want the product, they want that Bellator product and experience. Yeah. So SBG start to finish, Irish MMA start to finish. 100%, it's going to be an Irish show, do you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be an Irish show, but it's the Jimmy show. So it is. It's going to be. It's going to be. That's that's going to be. That's going. That's going in the history books. This one. I don't care for me. And it's. It's going to be. And I'm, I'm in a place now where I'm. I'm mature enough to become a world champion. I'm mature enough to get that money. I'm mature enough to put in the training. And I feel like it's. It's just the. It's the right time. I, I've got the, the. The vision for. 
I've got the focus for it and uh, I've got the work ethic, work ethic to match that and I've got the right people around to show me that they do the right things and make sure that I'm doing enough and make sure that I'm resting enough and not pushing too hard either and I feel like this is just the perfect time for me and I know I'm very young but I'm, I'm very clued in and I'm, 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 not, I'm not this even though people just think I'm like a fucking flamboyant, wild fucking kind of character, but I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm smart, even though I dropped out of school and stuff, and I dropped out of school because I could see, when I looked around at me, I could just see people that had no drive and ambition in life, and, and, and no disrespect to the people they all went to school with, but there's very, very few of them that are doing anything productive, yeah. and definitely there's no one in the position that I am in. Do you know what I mean? And that's just because I could see that they didn't have that work ethic in like anywhere else. I didn't have it in school because it wasn't that I, that I wanted to do. I didn't I didn't like that, but I knew I had to drive for something else, and that's why I ran for it. And I was like, I'm going to put all my focus into one thing, and I'm going to become the best in the world at it. And now I'm just like, why to go like that? And it's done. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm going to prove that to myself, and I'm just an arm's length away from it. And that journey will take one step further. See you fall South Dakota next weekend, Bellator 204. Jimmy versus Ricky for the chance to see who will fight for the 135 pound title at an un well as a, at a named show you yeah. Bellator Dublin later on in the year James Gallagher a pleasure Thanks to see so you again this much. has been uh, for me just personally from seeing this the last year I'm now seeing all of these guys who were there at the start getting to where they deserve and as someone who is the youngest leading the way I assume you'll be the one I will be speaking to the longest because your career is in its infancy now despite the fact you're fighting for a, will be fighting for a 135 pound title with a win next week. Exactly, it's surreal, do you know what I mean? I'm, I get goosebumps thinking about it but it keeps me keeps me calm, I'm calm, I'm, it doesn't get me driven, I'm just calm and focused and I, I've got a job to do, I've got a job and it's a difficult job to do and it's a uh, but it's not too difficult for me to accomplish and that's going to be a good one. James Gallagher, best of <laughs> luck. Good man, Andrew.